This is Russell Simmons addressing rape allegations with Gail King. Read my lisp, Gail. I didn't rape any of those vengeful, over-the-hill hoes. I was going to do that joke at the Apollo. Two hours later, my number hasn't been called to audition yet. Then I got triggered after reading an article about Nipsey Hussle, like he's the second coming of Tupac. And I bolted faster out of there than Usain Bolt with a Chinese bat in his tail. I already felt less welcome than a resurgent herpes sore on the spot. So I bolted thinking, fuck the Apollo. I lost its soul when I let Bjork perform there after Amy Schumer did, which is a double whammy of shame. Moms Mabley wouldn't have fucked Amy Schumer with a replica of Sam Cooke's strapping dick who opened for Bjork at the Apollo anyway. The Shrieking Seals. I have two books to edit before Father's Day, I think at the time. Do it all dad does jokes and control my kids a comedy love story. I'm out of here. It's bad enough my wife is already texting me with a request to call her and keep her company in the car with her three kids. We'll have the entire house to myself for a change. I'm out of 5,000. Like Vanilla Ice, if Suge Knight busts out of Folsom State Prison with a bigger chip in his shoulder than Michelle Obama's shoulder pads after Melania was rumored to have fumigated the Lincoln bedroom once they moved in. Apparently, Michelle peed on the ceiling fan before Trump's inauguration. Seconds later, Trump comments to Melania, Is this what She-Hulk meant when she said, When they go low, we aim high? Joan lives again. Holla. Thank you very much! I leave the bowling alley with my son and this cool Latino biker taking a smoke break outside with his woman says, Leaving so soon? I say, I've got two kids to pick up now. I never mastered the art of the pump fake. Latino biker laughs. Long time. He adds, you've got a great looking kid. God bless. I say, I call him Chosen Curls. Was bound to, woo. I always call him that name in front of my Gentile mother-in-law. To make her extra tense. Whenever we're graced with her presence again. But that's what the bitch deserves. For giving my kids Eucharist behind my back. And my people, the Jews, are supposed to have a monopoly on backstabbing behavior. <laughs> Your laughter proves I'm not being a paranoid Jew about it. Thank you very much! But I better tone it down out here in the parking lot. Or I'll be charged with hate speech against unhuggable cunts who blame the broken AC in her car for not visiting her grandchildren one whole summer after the next. <laughs> Like my father-in-law wouldn't mind his wife sweating off a couple of tons in the process. <laughs> I didn't give her atrophy of the knees. The View did, pushing more lies about Russian collusion with less legs than Lieutenant Dan. Those same chicken heads and fake news comedians never dared to ask Dr. Biden if Hunter is the smartest guy she knows. Hunter thought a Ukrainian energy company was paying him 52 grand a month to sell borscht as a new kombucha. Who needs a microphone? I'm sounding louder than Busta Rhymes and a midnight showing of higher learning. The Latino biker and his woman, a.k.a. Big Mama, continue to laugh a long time throughout, waiting for me to run out of breath already. Thank you very much! Nick fans won't be allowed... Weren't allowed to attend Nick games this year before they got eliminated without showing proof of vaccination. Assuming that they were going to advance to the second round of the playoffs, which they didn't. And I thought Biden supporters were guilty of wishful thinking. It was just a matter of time before the world's most famous arena tried to become the most woke too. The Garden of Eden has morphed into the Capitol building overnight. Why not erect a fence around the Garden? With dangling Nick's mask hanging on instead. Don't masks keep the virus at bay like triple wrapping your dick before rolling around with Madonna's blown up camel snatch in the hay? Madison Square Garden demands Nick fans show proof of vaccination if they advance to the second round of playoffs, which hasn't happened since 1999 during the days of Spreewell. This is before Urban Dictionary was even created to birth new words like spree, verb, to flee from an impending chokehold. Can I get a holla for jokes Gen X dads understand? Holla. Thank you very much. Again, 
I thought getting the vaccine prevents you from catching COVID, or does it only make you immune from charges of being an anti-vaxxer conspiracy theorist who refuses to suck off Dr. Noki's exalted wisdom concerning infectious disease prevention till your last dying breath? Everybody knows Fuckface Fauci helped finance the Wuhan research, which birthed the world economy wrecking Wuhan virus. Wuhan! Wuhan! But keep on thinking the media and government really care about your personal well-being, New York. Shutting down the economy for an itchy esophagus, defunding the police, embracing sanctuary city policies, which has encouraged lawlessness on crack, banning bail, and posting Cuomo's meatball recipes on Pinterest will keep New Yorkers pinned to their seats at the Garden in record numbers in no time. Because Andrew Dice Clay playing the Garden, this post-woke, COVID-controlled universe gone wild, will make it the world's most famous arena again. Despite Kevin Durant choosing to play for Brooklyn to become the mumblecore voice for the malign millennial mouseketeer generation who lives holla. Thank you very much. Because I'm positive. <coughs> MSG would welcome Dice back to perform for his three-night special engagement only titled The Day Democracy Died after night one when he opens with Fuck China! Chinese made fentanyl has killed more crackers in this country than Taylor Swift kicking it with Lena Dunham on Instagram. Trump's the Antichrist, but in the Bible part two, doesn't the original super Jew before me? Before yours truly? Doesn't that original super Jew before me, that being Jesus Christ, doesn't he kill the Antichrist in the Bible part two? So have some faith in the Jesus comeback story, won't you people? Oh, I can't take no more. I actually had to Google Antichrist to find out what it meant at the time I thought that's what Big Vomit called Howard in private parts before it came out as Weird, weak, woke Howard. So how bad could the Antichrist be? That is until Permhead Howard divorces his wife Allison for Beth, who's a 6.2 by ghoulish tranny standards at best. But weird, weak, woke Howard dumps on Trump supporters. So Jimmy Kimmel keeps on inviting him over for more two-bite chicken parm dinners. Was just at Target and saw Michelle Obama's book, Reach Higher, and I thought Bill Maher just got a stiffy. Joan Rivers, I fucked her. Oh, I can't take no more. <laughs> <laughs>